Good afternoon, good afternoon. I am Sand Grain One and this is my tree harvester. This is a build craft construction and it's my second design that I choose to uh, document on YouTube. It just finished uh, harvesting. The log uh, logs is sent through the piping and into the storage unit here. It uh, sips around a random number of times until it finally finds a chest <coughs> with room. There is a 50-50 chance for it to enter a chest. Unless the chest is full, uh, then it will always uh, continue. It is. It has now. Uh, it is now in planting mode, and the excess bone meal falls down there. And bone meal falling down there is actually a triggering mechanism, uh, telling the harvester that a tree has grown and it's time for harvest. So that's what's going on now. We're back to harvest. I have two stripe pipes here, one for the logs and one for the dirt. So I'm using a stripe pipe to remove the dirt instead of a piston. Uh, the dirt is um, moved down, up, uh, and comes uh, up again here and into the chest here. So I have a single dirt in this machine. Uh, this is the sapling chest and the bone meal chest. Uh, this is uh, the sapling collector. I'm using that instead of obsidian pipes. There is of course uh, an obsidian pipe down there picking it up. But uh, uh, with this collector it's enough with one and it can be unpowered. Uh, do not need to power it with an engine. As you can see here, we are getting dirt first, and then sapling, and then uh, bone meal. And we are getting only one dirt, because there is only one dirt, and only one sapling, because these two engines behind here, the engines feeding dirt and saplings, is running only as long as there is dirt in this chest. So after the first pulse uh, the two engine is uh, disabled. So this is the logic for that. Uh, if there is dirt in the inventory in the chest then emit a red signal, red pipe signal and that allows both these engines to run. So we get only one uh, the reason for that is that if I allow the sapling chest to feed more saplings, uh, it w uh, it would mix in with the bone meal that come, and uh, it would be a little bit random um, how that would work. But I do feed multiple bone meals, and that is because the bone meal is actually required uh, as a triggering mechanism. Uh, the sand is of course also a triggering mechanism when the sand falls down there and is detected in the piping there it switches uh, from harvesting uh, to to planting so a uh, blue pipe uh, the blue uh, blue wire is uh, means that it is harvesting no uh, planting I mean like now it started planting and there you could also see the uh, red pipe signal going off again. Uh, the red pipe here is not uh, related to the harvest pipe here. <coughs> there is a. It's a th they are isolated here. So first, the s uh, first uh, the dirt, then uh, the sapling, and then the first uh, bone meal will grow the tree, of course, and then the second one will just hit a wall uh, and drop down. But we are about to start a new uh, harvest session, so let's go upstairs and take a look at the 
placing of the sand. So the signal comes up here and this engine is uh, running the sand here. And uh, this um, a similar piston system here as uh, before, but instead of using a smart piston uh, that is triggered when sand is placed, I have uh, changed this up so that uh, this piston is actually triggered when a sand block leaves uh, the pipe. So when this signal turns off, it triggers a pulse. So this is actually an edge detector, uh, made with redstone. And it's a falling edge detector, so it triggers when uh, uh, the s input changes from uh, on to off. And the reason I couldn't use a smart piston was because this uh, harvester can be turned off in the middle of a harvest. Um, and when if that happens, there might be sand left here in the piping. And when that fills up, you can suddenly have a situation where there is 13 blocks in the column here. And let me demonstrate what happens if you have 13 blocks. Uh, it's not 13 blocks, but this obsidian pipe will simulate the event. Nothing happens. And even if I remove this block in the end here, making it possible to move this row of blocks, it won't, even if it's still powered. So I had to uh, separate uh, the logic of placing uh, the sand and triggering uh, the piston. And I do that uh, with the uh, event when the sand block leaves uh, the pipe. This is the brain of the harvester. Uh, the, um, this is a memory cell. It's currently showing a harvest mode. So this is a memory cell and I've tried to uh, create, recreate it with redstone. So when the yellow wire, you can see all four the colors here. When the red o uh, yellow wire is triggered, it forces the red wire to go off, which in turn allows the blue to come on. And when the blue is on, it prevents the red one to come back on. So that is the chain of events when a signal uh, yellow is uh, triggered. And uh, likewise, when green is triggered, you get the same chain, but uh, in the opposite uh, logic here. So blue is uh, forced off. Uh, it allows the red to come on, and up, uh, the red being on uh, prevents the blue one to come on again. Uh, these levers is just uh, to illustrate that there it's possible to turn both of them off. Yeah. This is the logic I've been talking about uh, when the bone meal uh, comes falling down here and is piped through this pipe. It activates the green pipe signal. Uh, so that would simulate the clicking button there. It turns off uh, the uh, blue one which allows the uh, red one to come on and while the red one is on uh, it sort of suppresses the blue one the blue one is unable to come on and likewise when uh, sand drops down a yellow pipe uh, wire uh, the wire the wire comes on 
and when the yellow pipe is on uh, this is false it is currently off so uh, now we get the event here it switches around forces the red one to come go off and that in turn lets the blue one come off so we are now uh, in, uh, in uh, planting and planting is a fairly short uh, um, process so at the moment sand here has been removed I believe we are back in back in uh, harvest so that was the sound from placing all the saplings we now probably have a tree there and we should see the first bone meal bone meal triggers uh, the green was it which lets the uh, red one come on this is an off switch for all of it so both red and blue is now off and I'm basically just powering both yellow and green so I'm this uh, lever is uh, the same as those two and I'm using delay here so that when I turn it off again or <laughs> switch these off again I uh, turn off the yellow one there uh, before the green one and I do that so that the, har uh, the harvest always starts with a harvest and that is important it must always start with a harvest so these are the delays that make sure of that and this will of course be hooked up to different uh, sensors up here I will check if there is enough bone meal or enough saplings and I will also check the storage unit if the storage unit is full or if I'm missing anything up there uh, the machine will be turned uh, this will be powered uh, turning off the machine these two engines are independent of the actual uh, mode of the harvester because I want to empty this chest but apart from that there are no nothing um, w is, is moving now all engines are off and it's basically yeah turned off and that was my tree harvester and if, if you think this was a stupid idea because there is a mod called forestry then I would like you to not look at this as a tree harvester but look at it as a tribute to Buildcraft and Logic Gate the best mod ever or the best addition to any mod Thanks for watching Bye-bye.